when we turn on the TV for the exhibition games on Tuesday night, is it going to look different? Absolutely. You know, the big thing, of course, that's missing and what we all wish was still there were the fans. That's the thing that people are going to notice first and foremost. And what they won't see, though, is empty seats. The NHL has done a great job in dressing up the arena. It's kind of a combination of the sets that they do for outdoor games, uh, kind of meeting American Ninja Warrior. There's a lot of monitors, staging, fancy lighting, things like that. And so when you tune in Tuesday, you'll see some of that, but it's going to evolve. Um, as the tournament goes on and the Stanley Cup playoffs move on, you're going to see more and more things added. And once we get to the Stanley Cup final, it's really going to be a spectacular show. And, and what about crowd noise? Do you know, is that going to be pumped in? That's part of it. Um, EA Sports has been working very hard with us and, and with the league in creating samples and audio samples that, that will be experimented with. We're taking an approach of we're going to kind of crawl, then walk, then run. And so you'll, there'll be a crowd bed to start. And then as we move on, we'll be adding more samples like uh, simulated crowd reactions to certain plays and, and team chants, things like that. So uh, it, it, what I've heard has been pretty good. It's very authentic. And I think it'll add to the broadcast experience. Many of us who watch hockey uh, have watched basically the same way that a hockey game has been shot with some minor changes over the years. Now you can put cameras anywhere, I guess. You don't have to worry about getting in the way of fans uh, in the stands because they won't be there. Are we going to see radically different camera angles? Will hockey look different? Yes, there's some new camera angles that we're trying out. One in particular is called the Jitta Cam, which uh, is a long arm that hangs down from the scoreboard and it can, can go 360. So that's going to be part of the broadcast. And now our crews are on site in Toronto and Edmonton and they're experimenting. You're right, there's no fans in the stands, so the traditional camera platforms don't necessarily need to be used. So they're going to experiment a little bit, but there's always a danger in that, um, you know, the coverage of hockey is, is very solid and it has been tweaked over the years to where it is in a really good spot. And you also have to make sure what you're presenting here, uh, can you bring that to the broadcast once we get back to our normal state? So there'll be some experimentation. Some stuff will look very, very similar to what people expect and there'll be some new stuff. One of the things I've learned in television news is you never really know how it's going to look and how it's going to work until you actually get on the air. Is that the same for you? Absolutely. And, you know, we start on Tuesday with a, a doubleheader of exhibition games. And, and like I said, from the start of exhibition to the Stanley Cup finals, these broadcasts are going to evolve significantly. There's so many new technologies and so many new ideas. We're going to experiment, see what works, and then we'll refine the product. And once we get to the, the, the final round, we'll be in really good shape. We've talked a lot about the technical thing, but let me finish with a question about COVID in terms of the infection risk about the medical part of it as a manager uh, for Sportsnet how concerned are you about that well we're very concerned in, in terms of health and safety has been our really our only priority throughout the the COVID-19 situation and and creating these bubbles that the NHL has done they've done a really nice job their health and safety group has been very very stringent on what the rules are and what they're going to allow uh, so we are comfortable um, in terms of sending our people into the bubbles to do these work. They've already been tested three times before they left. And yesterday, everybody left to, to go to Edmonton. So, so far, so good. And we know that the NHL is very, very locked down on the rules and we expect them to, to uphold them. And so, yeah, you're always a little bit nervous. Um, but I think all the steps have been taken as much as you can to keep everybody safe. So going into it, I'm, I'm pretty confident uh, we'll be fine. Well, many of us are excited to have hockey back. I'm sure you are too. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks, Ian.